Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In last videos, we have learned about Docker, how to build Docker images and deploy them. Now, the image we have built in the last video was in your local system. In the Docker benefits, we have seen that it is easy to transfer Docker images to other systems which can be your teammate's computer, a server, or any Docker installed system. The question is, how to do that? So, Docker Hub provides public and private repository to store Docker images. When we try to pull any open source base image from Docker Hub, those are mostly public. So, you can download them without any authentication method. For an example, when you surf hub.docker.com, you can see that there are 5 million available images which are public on the Docker Hub. For an example, Ubuntu image, Redis image, Node.js, MySQL, Alpine, MongoDB and what not. So these images you can download without any authentication. Now for an example, in our previous video, we have taken base image of the Node.js. We appended our code, we installed our dependency and built a new image which contained our coding files. Now you don't want to share it as a public. You want to put some authentication so not anyone can download that file. For that we can use private registry. There are many docker registries available. For an example. Docker has provided Docker Hub. AWS has, has its own AWS Elastic Container Registry. Azure, Google and GitLab also have provided their own container registry. Nevertheless, you can use any container re registry with any provider. You can use cross-platform if you want. There are many more container registry also available in the market. This video is in two parts. In first part, we are going to see how to authenticate in Docker Hub using private registry. And in the next video, we are going to see how to log in and authenticate in AWS ECR. As Docker Hub and AWS ECR both uses different authentication method, we are going to see both. Before getting started, all you need to do is go to the hub.docker.com and click on sign up. By there, you can create your Docker Hub account. After logging in, it will show you three pricing models where you can choose the free one which comes with one private repository. I have already created my account and created one private repository under that. As you can see, identical cloud is my account name, slash node.js is the image name. When I click on that image, you can see that there is one tag available with version one. Now here it has printed some Docker commands. To push the image, we definitely use this command. Now to pull the image, here is one of the my system by printing docker images, there are no docker images available right now and let's pull this image. As you can see, it shows us the error. Either repository is not available or it requires docker login as this is private image. Now let's run docker login command. It prompts us to enter username and password. Enter username and password that you have created in the last step. As you can see, it says login succeeded. Now let's again try to pull the image. As you can see, Docker image has been successfully pulled. But wait, you want to see? How I pushed this docker image from my local system to the docker hub? 
Let's see commands for the same. There are two main commands. First is we need to tag our local image with the remote repository name and tag. And then we need to fire docker push command. For an example, as you can see, right now we have only one docker image available which we have just pulled. Let me build one new image over here. To avoid confusion, I am naming it as ic-node.js colon 2 for version 2. We have built this image and it is only available in our local system for now. Let's tag this image. Command is docker tag local image name colon remote repository name which is identical cloud slash node.js as this is going to be a revised version I type version 2 the image is successfully tagged but it is not available in the docker hub yet we need to push this image let's run docker push on the newly tagged image it is completed when we refresh this page we can now see two versions over here, tag 1 and tag 2. Tag 2 is our newly created image. Now how to share it with your colleagues? For that, here you can see the option for collaborators. All you need to do is, I enter their username so that they can view your Docker image, pull it and push it when required. In the free plan, it is not allowed but in other plans, you can add collaborators. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. For more such updates, please subscribe to our channel or visit our website identicalcloud.com. Thank you for watching.